So the, the customer came to us and they had this big outdoor sculpture and they wanted to build it out of polished stainless steel. And they wanted, these are 25 foot tall uh, statues and they had some shape to them. So I wanted to build it for my first meeting. Instead of just having a meeting and have some two inch by two inch swatches, I wanted to go ahead and build something that replicated what they wanted it to look like in its final product. So we came out with their first product, which was the one they were gonna spec, which was polished stainless steel. And you can see this thing right here has small scratches in it and fingerprint. If I take and touch this, I leave fingerprint behind. So from a maintenance standpoint, as soon as they picked it up, they went, that's a bad idea. Because they could see the small scratches and they could see how people could walk up and be right close to this. Uh, if they lean up against it or stand on it or hit with their feet, they're gonna leave an indelible mark that's not gonna be repairable. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to steer them down other paths that, that would be more user-friendly for them in the long run. This would be probably the most user-friendly and it's done with the DA finish, which is a dual action sander. And you can pick several different grits. This is done with probably the 80 grit. But I dare say you can, you can mark it with your hand, you go up and scratch it and do what you want to. And when you go back and wipe it off, it's basically gone. So you can maintain it in the field. This is probably the least attractive, but it's the most functional. So if you take that and you add a little bit of artistic flair to it, you can do this down one face. Then we did something with a grinder here, a small nine inch grinder. Now you've got really kind of a little bit of contrast, a little depth that you get out of it. So it's not just boring looking like this. And so easily again, maintainable. Again, you can touch it, feel it, scratch it. This right here, you can really scratch up. Nothing left behind res residue wise. So that's, that's the one that we want to steer them towards because this one actually, as the sun hits it and light hits it, it actually would reflect the light up here and it really almost has a light of its own. The next choice, which a lot of people pick, is the number four finish. Number four finish is a better alternative than the polished, but it kind of lacks the, the character. It's, again, it's, it's got some imperfections, and if you go up and you scratch it, I won't do that because it will leave a scratch, but I can leave an imperfect scratch in it. But it is attractive, light hits it well. And then we gave them the last option, which was kind of busy, but it kind of showed them if you did it without the contrast, just to give them a feel that they can get kind of busy, but again, you can hurt it. No, you can never hurt it. So easily maintained.